Hey guys, so this is going to be a reading for all signs, a uh, quick check-in for the weekend. Um, I'll be going through each sign individually, going through it by elements, earth signs, fire signs, air signs, and water signs. Why is my mind blank? I don't know. Uh, I am a little tired, so maybe that's why, but I really, really want to do this reading, so I'll do it. God damn it. Okay. Um, I'll be, you know, whatever comes out, comes out. I'm not going to be clarifying. So I'll be looking into where you're at in regards to some other energy that you can't stop thinking about. Could be anybody, could be anything. Uh, so where you're at in regards to them, where they're at in regards to you, where the connection is at. And then I'll be uh, pulling up some cards from the universe for each of you. Um, I think that's it. Do I have any other announcements to make? Oscar, do I have anything else? He turned his back to me. Um, um yeah, that's it. Let's, let's just start. Let's just start. Um, starting off with Earth Signs. Capricorn. Let's see. Oops. All right, Capricorn, let's take a look. Alright, so on your side here you get the King of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. Um, you're very decided here when it comes to work. You're very confident. You're very, but not to this connection, even though you do have a connection attached to you. So this might be in regards to some sort of a job that you're looking at or something. It doesn't feel like love, even though on their side it does. So. You do have somebody attached to you here, but you're focused on work. You're focused on your pentacles here, on growing your pentacles, on, you know, you have your mindset here. Nothing, no love, no nothing is going to turn you around here. You you are in a little bit of um that kind of beginner phase of how do I do this? Is, you know, what approach should I have towards this and things like that, but Overall, I see a very assertive kind of energy on your part. Um, on their side here, they get the Five of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So there is somebody in your life that wants to give love in some other place, but then they keep changing their mind, so they keep coming back. You know? They're sad that things didn't work out here, but at the same time, mm, I'm going to go, but then I'm going to come back. For the connection, you get the Three of Cups, the Hangman, and the Five of Wands. Nothing's happening. Yeah, somebody wants reconciliation here. Somebody wants to come together here with the other person, but nothing's really happening with the Hangman here. And this state of nothingness uh, is creating a lot of conflict for whoever wants this to happen. All right, so let me pull some cards from the universe for you. Yeah, somebody's not letting go of this with the Four of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Star. Somebody's refusing to let go of the idea that the two of you will come back together in love. No idea if that's you or the other person. I do see you focused on something other than this. So, could be them. Could be you, on the other hand. So, that's it for you, Cappy. Moving on to Taurus.
All right, so on your side, you get the Seven of Swords, the Fool card, and the Knight of Swords. Wow, you're very determined to jump into this. There's somebody in your mind, definitely, you want to go towards them. And I feel like you have to leave something in order to do that. You're kind of sneaking away from something in order for you to get into this Fool and the Knight of Swords energy. You know, ready to charge, ready to attack. Here. Hey, hey, hey! Speaking of attack, what's up, guys? Really? Uh, actually, Felix did scare me, too, when he showed up out of nowhere, so Oscar got scared. They're good. All right, uh, for your person, they get the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Magician. They're taking care of themselves here, right? Uh, and I feel like something's happening in their lives. Something's moving really, really fast here. They're manifesting something. I'm not sure if it's in regards to this connection, though. I see it more as something for themselves, something for their um, finances, possibly. You know? Good things are happening for them. I'm not, mm, I'm not getting the connection here. The uh, love part. But uh, for the connection, you get the Five of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. There's conflict here. Because I feel like somebody's not truly, somebody's not communicating how they truly feel. And that creates a lot of conflict for this connection. As I said, on their part, I don't see necessarily that love, that overwhelming love for you. I do see a connection here. I do see the two of you connected through love. Somehow. But somebody's not talking. Somebody's not expressing that love. That's why it's not probably coming up in the cards. So let me pull up some cards here from the universe. Feelings should be talked about. That's the bottom line for the connection. Yeah, somebody's working on getting out of their own way. Could be you, could be them. Um, Somebody forgot to use their intuition and they got stuck in their mind, you know. That does happen sometimes, but somebody's working on that to get more clear about something. I kind of feel like it's them for some reason. Could be you. I don't know. What do I know? Um, that's it, Taurus. Moving on to Virgo. Wow, Virgo. All right. Um, this is usually your side. Um, you will figure out if this is you or if you have to reverse size, size here because for some reason I'm, I'm pretty drawn to thinking that the middle part is you and not the first one. But... Um, I'll read how um, it's framed for now. So on your side here, you get the Nine of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. That's a whole lot of torture that you're going through if that's you. Um, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of not knowing what to do, a lot of sensing that you're trapped in your head. Like you can't escape your thoughts, you can't escape, you feel defeated, you feel like you're completely lost, like there's nothing you can do about the situation here. On this other side, for your person, they get the Empress, the Hermit, and the Ten of Wands. This person um, is in a completely different place. They're gone within, they're doing their work on themselves, they don't feel confused at all. Yeah, it feels heavy, it feels hard doing that whole work. But they're pretty clear-headed here. And 
Yeah, these are two different, completely different energies here that the two of you are in. Uh, for the connection, you get the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Somebody's in pain here, obviously. Somebody's going through shit here. And I feel like they're pretty defensive at this time. There's still a lot of attraction in this connection. You know, a lot of passion. But at the same time, somebody's going through a really, really shitty time here. It does show up on your part. Could be you, could be them. Let me pull some cards from the universe. Yeah, there's uh, this um, this sense of, you know what, let's get together, let's go out, let's have fun, let's do this and that. A lot of love is being, love and support is being offered here. And somebody has uh, shut down a little bit emotionally. They're pretty strict, pretty cutting um, with their words. And I feel like that's the person that's in pain right now. And the other person I feel like is being supportive or is trying to. Or somebody else's but you've got support you've got love if that's you going through that you know so Virgo that's what I have for you um, moving on to fire signs Aries hey little guy what's up you want to play again now now do not jump with those claws Alright, Aries, on your side, you get the Three of Cups, the Star card, and the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you're wanting to get back together with this person. Maybe you had a fight, maybe you had, I don't know. But in your head, it's looking like this person is your person, right? You're feeling that they're the one. You don't care. You've got a lot, of, a lot to offer to this connection. You want it, you want it, you want it. On their side here, they get the Hermit, the Justice card, and the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they want to balance things out with you also, but they're moving slower than you are. So they're going within, they're doing their work, and they are taking steps towards you here too, but they're really, really slow, you know? So I think you need to be patient here. Uh, for the connection... You get the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. Yeah, things are getting stable. Things are getting to a good, 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 solid, stable place here. Okay, things are changing for the better here. Oh, let me see. Let's see what the universe has for you. Same thing. Uh, yeah, this is happening. You two are making this happen. I feel like um, you've waited for quite some time, you and this person. Uh, things were in a waiting mode for quite some time, and I feel like things are starting to look like the two of you are making progress here. Um, and somebody's pretty... They made up their mind, whoever this is, and I feel like it's you. I kind of know who I want, what I want, and I'm going to go get it somehow. You know, if I have to be patient, I'll be patient. If I have to, I'll do whatever, you know. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good, Aries. Nice. All right, let's move on to Leo.
Hi, fire signs, fire signs, fire signs. You're killing me. I'm burning up. Uh, since Aries started, my solar plexus has gone crazy. But it is what it is. Let's see. Alright, so on your side, you get the Hierophant, the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. You get Taurus, Virgo here. Uh, whatever the case, I feel like you're, you're, you have somebody in your mind here. You have this person deeply, deeply in your mind, rooted there, pretty much, you know? They're paying rent. You're not liking where the situation is currently, but... Um, you're doing your thing, you're doing your work. It's not like it's affecting you in the way that, oh my God, I can't really do anything in my life and bleh. No, you're doing your thing. At the same time, you're not really liking how things are right now. Uh, for your person, they get the tower, the page of swords, and the sun. You. Um, something's happening for this person that's gonna shake them up. It's going to send them straight towards their happiness, which is you, you know? Um, they might not show up as determined. They might show up a little shy, a little like, hey, you want to grab a coffee or I don't know, you know? Uh, they're showing up a little shy here. But there is something that's kind of pushing them towards this. There is something, the universe is stepping in here and like, hey, go, you know, uh, for the connection, you get the Knight of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Wands, uh, it's been a long time coming with the Three of Wands and the Ten of Wands, and things have been difficult in this waiting game, but the love is finally here, somebody's finally stepping up here and offering love, could be you, could be them, I kind of see that it's them, uh, let's see, let's see what the universe has for you, Leo, 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 you think it's done. You think this connection is done, right? You're feeling this strong connection with this person, but you think it's all over. You think it's no more. Um, this is not what the cards are saying. This is just you thinking that. You may not even know that this person is heading your way. All right. All right. Let's see. Mm. Moving on to Sagittarius. Tom and Jerry. What you two looking at? What? There's a little bug that Felix is playing with. I don't know where that. It's it's a little like really really tiny, and he's so funny like with his paw like. You didn't get it. Let's see, Saggy. Tom, Tom in the house here or Felix. All right, so ooh, on your side, you get the Ten of Wands, the Three of Swords, and the King of Cups. Things have been pretty heavy on you with this Jerry situation, right? It seems like there's a lot of pain here uh, that you didn't properly take care of so far. I feel like you're still in the middle of just going through it and taking care of it. Um, but you still have a lot, a lot of love here for the situation, for this person. On their side, they get the World card, the Two of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Something's shifting for them here. I feel like um, they're going through some sort of an ending of a cycle. And that actually leaves room... For them to think about you, about this connection here, you know, with you. 
but they're going to throw an ending here to allow these saggy thoughts into their head again and in, into their heart. For the connection, you got the Nine of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Temperance card. Things are going to get here. Things are going to get balanced again. Things are going to get into this. It's wish fulfillment. You two want this, right? For now, it's looking like things are pretty heavy. Somebody's being defensive. Somebody's being, like, guarded here. And the universe is saying, have patience here. Especially to you. Uh, here with this card. Um... Let me pull up some cards from the universe for you. You get the Justice card, the Five of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, again, same kind of message. Things are going to get balanced here. Things are going to get better here. I feel like you're in this place of feeling really, really sad about something. Um... Again, there's this pain attached to you, so you're going through a little bit of a painful situation here, but things are starting to balance out for you, you know? So, and that's it. Moving on to air signs. Aquarius. up with you guys not fixing these heartaches that you guys are going through here i don't know why i pulled this but i pulled this um this is just the universe telling you have patience we're gonna leave it there i just pulled it so i may as well read it for you but on your side here you get the three of swords the king of wands and the ace of pentacles so you're very passionate about this person, right? Uh, at the same time, they hurt you. Um, you're not letting that go, the pain part, right? Even though you do want a brand new beginning here with this person, this pain is kind of holding you back here, you know, a little bit. I don't see you taking any kind of action, to be quite frank, because uh, this pain is holding you back from that. But you do want this. Uh, for your person, they get the Six of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Two of Pentacles. This person felt like they uh, made progress here. I feel like there was something between the two of you, or they saw something, possibly on social media, that kind of gave them hope. Like, okay, this is going to happen. It's looking great. But from that kind of energy, they slipped into, uh, I don't know what to do about this connection. I'm confused. I don't know if I want it, if I don't want it, what should I do? I don't know, you know? For the connection, you get the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Again, so much sadness, so much confusion. There may be another situation in between the two of you that's keeping the two of you apart. And that's creating a lot of blockages, a lot of confusion here for the two of you. Um, let's pull some cards from the universe. You both want to work on things here, right? You both want this. There's mutual love here. There's passion. There's you, you two pretty much have all of the ingredients if you would just get out of these energies here of doubt, sadness, all of that. 
the universe provides you with all with the best ingredients here to make in, to make this happen. So the energy is there for the two of you to to make it work here. You just have to pull yourselves, the both of you, out of these confusing energies here. You know. So that's it. Moving on to Gemini. Thank God. Pretty good stuff. Um, okay. So on your side, you get the Eight of Wands, the Hangman, and the Ten of Cups. You're thinking about talking to this person, reaching out to this person. About how do, how do we get to this place? You know, because I want this with you. Uh, so how do we get there? How do we make it happen? But you're thinking about ways on approaching this topic, approaching this conversation. You're wanting to talk to them, that's for sure. And you're thinking about how to do that. Um, your person gets the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands. Wow, this person has a lot of passion here for you. I feel like they're taking care of themselves. They're feeling good where they're at, you know, financially. Pretty much in their, like, their whole life is covered in regards to you. Not quite yet, but it's getting there. This person has a lot of passion for you, that's for sure. Um, for the connection, you get the Ace of Cups, the Moon, and the Two of Wands. There's a possibility for love here. Huge possibility for love. Neither of you are seeing it. It's here. And I feel like you're not seeing it. You are not seeing it. They're not seeing it. I'm seeing it. Alright. Um, let me pull some cards from the universe. Nose itch. I know. That was a brutal way, right? To... Yeah, no, I should have done this. Like, more discreet. Oh, come on. Talking to myself again. No, I know. I'm talking to you. I know. Alright, so from the universe you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Judgment card. Uh, Gemini, you're doing your thing, and so is your person, and keep on doing your thing. Um, because this thing that I'm seeing and you're not seeing, it is going to happen. It's here. Just, you know, be patient. It's going to be there. It's going to happen. You're taking care of yourself. Meanwhile, they are too. Somehow the universe is going to make it happen. So, Gemini, that's it. Alright, uh, moving on to Libra. Do you know what my pets are doing? They're sleeping right now. And do you know what happens when they do that? So they sleep all day, both of them. And then at nighttime when I sleep, guess what they're doing? Especially the little guy. Playing. Playing. Why not play? Why not wake up Alina at 1 o'clock a.m. and, you know, bounce things off against the wall and things like that? Why not? Uh, okay, so on your side, you get the Four of Swords, the Fool card, and the Nine of Pentacles. 
you're thinking about making a move here, Libra. Um, I feel like you, you've been in this healing place for quite some time and you're ready to just about jump and take a chance here in this connection. You're in a very stable place. You're in that energetic place where you're able to make any kind of move, you know, kind of like, I, I, I don't care about the outcome. I'll just go try it out, you know? That's what it's looking like. Your person, they get the Devil, the Eight of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So this person is acting all confused, all like, uh, I don't know what to do. Uh, bullshit. Uh, that's with the Eight of Swords and the Devil here. It's telling me that they're just... They're not. They're not confused. They want this, right? Underneath it all, underneath all the crap, they want this. But for some reason, they're acting all like, oh... I don't know. Yeah, you do know. I know you know. Uh, for the connection, you get the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Somebody's um, approaching here with love in this connection. I feel like this is you. And there's passion. There's love. There's wanting to build on things here. So I feel like things are going to happen here. This person needs to get out of this devil energy, though. You know, I feel like if they stay in this victim mode kind of mentality, it's not going to happen. So they need to get the hell out of that place. And, you know, tune in and see that they actually want this. All right. Let me see what the universe has for you. So the more you wait, you know, the more you hold off on this. Somebody wants to offer love here. I feel like it's you. So the more you wait, the more conflicted you get. So the full energy is somebody that just jumps, you know, doesn't wait. They just go. So I do see you being in that energy. Now, you've done enough work here from what I can see in the cards to know if it's the right time for you to take that chance, you know? So just check within and see. Should I wait? Should I not? You know, you'll know exactly what to do. Because I do see here that the more you wait, the more uh, harder it gets for you to act here. So just, uh, you'll know. You'll know. I trust that you'll know. All right, Libra, that's it. Moving on to water signs. Cancer. Interesting. Um, on your side, you get the Six of Swords, the Hangman, and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're wanting to pull away from this connection. Uh, you are actually feeling emotionally disconnected here, to be quite frank. You're in the Hangman here, which is really not taking any kind of action, and you're taking care of yourself here. You know, emotions are pulled back here. And let me see if I can show you, I think, no, eh? no, uh, the way they're looking on the table for me, this one is walking away from this one, and this one, of course, is walking away from this one, uh, for some reason, it doesn't show up like this on the camera, but um, you two, you both are pulling away from each other, okay, so your person gets the Knight of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Empress. This person seems like um, they want to go. They want to go the opposite direction here also because they've been hurt. You know, they feel empowered to do that. They feel like they're 
it's one of those things where, um, you know, you're with somebody for quite some time, things are not really working out and you're wanting to leave, but you're waiting for the right time kind of thing. This is what it's looking like for this person. Again, this could be you. Roles can be reversed. So you would know, but the both of you are uh, walking in different directions here, you know, away from this connection. For the connection, you have the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, and the Three of Cups. It's, it's looking like somebody wants to... The both of you want to split, but you don't know how to do it. You, you may not even know of each other's thoughts here, you know? But it's looking like a natural kind of slip here, like a, a split here, you know, between the two of you and the both of you are kind of trying to go around it, not hurting the other person. But the other person kind of feels the same thing, so really weird. Uh, let's see. Let me pull some cards from the universe. Yeah, you're uh, you're starting to really you're in that phase in your life where you're thinking about okay, what makes me happy? Does this make me happy? Eh, not really. Okay, out. Bye. You know, things like that. You're cutting out uh, things that are not truly making you happy, and this connection might be one of those things. So, this could also be a friend. Doesn't have to be. You know, it could be just anybody. Could be okay. Does this friend serve my life right now? No. Okay. Bye bye. You know. So it could be just anybody, or a job. Anything. So, Cancer, that's what I have for you. Moving on to Pisces. I could hear the Cancer saying, Oh my God, my person's leaving me. It doesn't have to be your person. It could be anybody. <laughs> Okay, so on your side, you get the sun, the chariot, and the king of wands. Um, this person makes you happy. This connection is pretty much everything you ever want, Ed. But you're wanting to go towards it really, really fast. You want for things to move really fast because you're very passionate about this person. Now, your person. They're creating conflict for some reason. Now, that's attached to the devil here. So you get the five of wands, the devil, and the judgment card for them. I feel like they're working on this uh, energy where, for some reason, when things are perfect between the two of you, this person creates conflict. You know? But this is something they're working through right now to change that energy because it's useless. It's not serving anyone. It's not serving them. It's not serving anyone. But again, they're working on that. For the connection, you get the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. Only cups here. And the best kind of cups. Six of Cups, strong soulmate connection. Yeah, you two have the potential here to get to this happy place. As long as this person is working on this crap, which is, is extra. You know, it, it doesn't belong here. And they're doing that. Uh, you two are going to get to this place. I feel like uh, love and support is needed right now in this situation. But it's looking amazing. Alright. Uh, let me pull some cards from the universe for you. you get the Nine of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Judgment card. Yeah, you're holding your own. You're taking care of yourself currently. Um, that's the best thing you can do right now. 
that's actually going to help your person because they need to take care of this on their own. You can't help them unless they ask for help. But meanwhile, you're doing your thing. You're taking care of yourself, you know. Good for you. There's nothing you can do for now. But this connection looks awesome. All right. Uh, that's it. Moving on to Scorpio. Are those coyotes or dogs? Could be both. I think it was a dog though. Yeah, I know. We're almost done. All right, Scorpio, let's take a look here. Scorpio, it's looking pretty good here. You get the Chariot, the Hierophant, and the Ten of Pentacles. Um, there's fast movement here on your part towards this connection, right? Uh, to you, it feels like home. This is home to you. You know, you could, be, you could be married to this person or going to ask them to marry you. This is what it's looking like. Something very solid, very stable on your part. Uh, on your person's part here, they get the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the World card. Um, they want to work on things here with you. I feel like this person does have a lot of passion for you. They're ending something, though. There's some sort of a cycle ending in their life. I feel like it has nothing to do with this connection, though. I feel like these um, two energies of the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands apply to you here, and this world card may have something to do with another aspect of their life here, you know, where something is ending for them. Uh, let me see. The connection. You get the King of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Judgment card. They may be uh, really, really focused on work right now, your person, but I do feel like they want this with you still. You may be dealing with a Taurus here, by the way. There's a lot of Pentacles on, you know, from their side on, there's a lot of Pentacles, a lot of working towards stability here. But you too have the Ten of Pentacles here, so you two might be working together on the stability. Um, I do kind of see them focused a lot on work. You know? Let's see. Let me pull some cards from the universe for you. It's looking pretty good, pretty steady here. But let's see. There's this um, there's this chance here for a brand new beginning here, right? Very passionate here. But um, it it does seem like a choice, like like you're somebody's choice or they're your choice. You know, like there's other choices for the other person. So they do, they are presented with this brand new beginning, but at the same time, they do have several other new beginnings, you know? But things are changing in that regard. So I feel like these choices are going to get, you know, cut out. Because there is this chance here with you for things to reboot between the two of you here, you know? So overall, it does look good. It does look stable. It has that stability here mm, not seeing the cups to be quite honest I don't see the emotions necessarily this could be a partnership and work this could be this could be a partner even I don't know but yeah things are looking stable things are looking good 
So that's it. That's what I have for you guys. Um, hope these helped. Uh, I think that's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, thank you guys so much for supporting this channel, for your donations. Please, 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 if you do catch this message at the end, for the ones that do donate, do not make any kind of references um, towards personal readings. I don't do those. I think it's specified pretty much everywhere. So whenever I see that under a donation, I immediately refund. Um, I don't do personal readings. So please don't try to, no, no exceptions, no nothing. So. I would appreciate it if, you know, I didn't get those. Um, and thank you so much for everyone that's, again, supporting this channel in any way that you can, just by watching it. I appreciate it. And I think that's it right now. <laughs> right? Right? Where's my cat? No cat. My dog is here. We're done, baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, see you guys next time.